Hi, I'm Scott Griffiths and tonight we're going to make curry pasta. We've got a wine, we've got a sauce, we've got a vegetables, we've got a meat, we've got our pasta. So first of all, we've just got a bottle of red wine. For the sauce, we've got two principles. We've got the sauce mix, then we've got the spices. We've got the butter chicken, 250 mils of beef stock, along with the light cream. For the spices, we've just got a pepper and salt. We've got a paprika seasoning. And important of all, a curry powder. For our vegetables, we've got some Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and a carrot for extra flavor. For our meat, we've got 500 grams of mince, beef mince, and an onion to complement that. And last of all, we've got a olive oil and just a penne pasta. And before you start, just put your bottle of wine in the fridge an hour before you start. I've just put two pots of water on the stove, one for the pasta and one for the vegetables. Now we're going to move on to the sauce. One thing I forgot, was 100 grams of parmesan cheese for the sauce. So for the sauce, we add our butter chicken, and we get a beef stock, put it in the bottle, just to get the excess off the sides, and add the rest of the beef stock. So 250 mils of beef stock. We're going to add a parmesan cheese, 100 grams. Next up, 150 mils of light cream, so half a bottle. I'm going to move on to our seasonings. So I've got a dessert spoon and we're going to get two levels dessert spoons of curry powder. Next up, we've got a pepper and salt. Just a couple of shakes. Then we're going to add our paprika ground seasoning. Then add not too much, just three or four shakes, just to get that seasoning through. And we'll just give it a stir. Just wait till you get a smooth, creamy sauce. And that is our sauce. Hey gang, we've put a sauce to the side now. We've got the grated carrot here, which we'll put with our meat. I've prepared a Brussels, a Brussels sprouts. I use the small ones. I've used 16, cut the ends off, and cut them in half. If I was to use the larger Brussels sprouts, I'll use 10 and cut them into quarters. I've also cut the broccoli up. Now we're going to tip them in to the steamer. We let our vegetables steam for 10 minutes on medium heat. Okay gang, I've just got a fry pan on the stove with olive oil on mid heat. We now cut our onion up. We've diced the onion up so it's congruent with the mince. And with the mince, we want to separate it. 
and we just separate it so it doesn't cook as a lump. After we do that, we put the onion in the fry pan, allow it to brown lightly. So, we've lightly browned the onion off, we're just going to add the mince, which we're separated still. Separated as it's put in the pan. Just so it doesn't cook in lumps. Then mix it through. While you're doing that, add the carrot. And you're looking for the mince to be a light pinky colour. Once the mince is a, is a pinky colour, Alright, so our mince is a little bit pinky now. So what we do, we get our sauce, and because the mince isn't completely cooked, it'll cook through with the sauce. And just stir that through, and let it simmer. As you can see, the sauce has come up to heat. Then we turn our attention to the pasta. What we do is, just get a pinch of salt, drizzle, drizzle of olive oil, and we're adding 250 grams of pasta. Stir that through. Now we go back to the sauce. I pulled these steamed vegetables off at the 10 minute mark and now I'm going to put it into the sauce. And we'll just stir that through gently. So we want the pasta to boil for 15 minutes in a mid, in a mid heat. So we want that to simmer, and we want the sauce to simmer for 15 minutes as well. It's a nice simple meal, it serves 3 and 4 people. I've let the wine breathe for 10 minutes. Before the meal, I just take a sip of wine, swirl it in my mouth for 30 seconds. This extracts the flavours. I'll do this 2-3 to three times throughout the meal, and what this does is compliments and makes the meal so much nicer. Thank you for watching.